Hi there, good morning. Welcome to my workshop. Um, this week I'm in the middle of another project, so I don't really have a project video for you today. But I thought I haven't done a shop tour yet, and before things were changed too much in my shop, I wanted to show you around what it looks like right now. So you walk in the door, this is what you come into. I've got my wood stove back there. Normally I have firewood stacked here, but I'm starting to get out of that season so I don't really have a lot in here now uh, a little staging area I have this little platform here I can fold down to, uh, over here is where I have the rack that I made the previous video for um, I'll pop a link up here so you can watch that video and it's just some storage for screws and this is an area I like to try to keep clean free from dirt and things, that way I can do my planning. This is a project right now I'm working on. Get my camera set up. So then you walk through another area, come into this section here. Have a clamp storage, which I need to make more space somewhere for some more clamps because I have clamps on the shelf somewhere else. Air nailers, my drill press, my bolt, miter saw, it's, it's a pretty good saw. The cuts, you have to be really careful to make sure that they're good cuts. A lot of the things I got in this workshop I was blessed with either free or really at a good discount. I got this at a yard sale, 50 bucks. Couldn't beat that. A little staging area. Once again, I'm working on a project, so that's what you're seeing there, and a couple things there. Yes, that is a McDonald's box. I do geocaching, and that was a geocache that I had hidden. Um, as you can see, it was broken, so. Um, that's just a crate that I put scrap pieces of wood in, of course you know my table saw is right in the middle, slop sink, band saw, uh, underneath some of these other stuff here, I got my delta jointer, I don't really use a whole lot, and some storage underneath, some of the wood when I split it comes out really nice, so I try to save some uh, projects, some stuff in the house there. I got my wood storage over here. Router table, Craftsman. It came all as one kit: router and the table. And then I got this belt sander from a customer for free. Belt driven too, so the belt and the motor and everything's hidden underneath. I'm gonna come back around. Last area is another staging area. There's my hammer rack I made in a previous video as well. I'll put that up here as a link. That's about it. So one thing about my shop that is pretty uh, can be pretty difficult at times is I've got a very oddly shaped shop. If you were to look in the entrance coming in and then going back around, it's kind of like a Z that's been stretched out. So I don't have the best setup for where a table saw would be. I, I'd love to get a bigger table saw and truthfully I have a hard time fitting this one even with trying to build a table extension or something, out feed table or anything like that. I'm just very limited on my space but you know all in all I'm very blessed and thankful for what I have because where I'm located, I don't really have another place to do this. I don't have an outside area to put a shed. You know, maybe someday I'll make a shed outside. So, I hope you enjoyed this little shop tour video. And um, please be sure to check out the other videos I have. You know, right now there's, you see, there's a couple videos playing on the side. I've got a Harbor Freight video. I've also got how I distress the wood. Um, just different things. And if you're new to the channel, please click and subscribe this channel for future uh, videos. Hey, and follow me on Facebook for some exclusive content. I hope you'll join me again next week for my next project video. Thanks for watching.